Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is Slow Cooker Sunday. We are going to be making corn beef hash. But before I get started, if this is your first time here, you love food, you love fun, and you love slow cooker recipes, go ahead, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss anything new. Okay, I am excited for today because I think I'm the only person in my family that likes corned beef hash. So the only time I really get to eat this is if we go out to breakfast somewhere and I order it, which we have not done in a long time. But I did make a corned beef a few days ago, so I had some leftover and I thought, perfect, I'm going to make this for myself. They can eat it or not eat it. So if you don't have any leftover corned beef, you can always use the canned stuff. But I do think that, you know, if you make it yourself, it tastes a lot better. So I've got just about a cup and a half of corned beef here. Now, I would normally put about two cups in, but we ate more than I thought we were going to eat off of there. So I'm a little bit short, but that's okay. And then I've got, normally I would use a whole package of hash browns. I don't think my bowl's big enough here, but I use some of those too. <laughs> so it's actually probably good because I don't have that much corned beef in here. The rest of the stuff is going to be what I always use. I've got an onion that I've chopped. And then I've got, well, no, it's not what I always use. I just lied to y'all because I normally use about a cup and a half of shredded Velveeta. And I was running short on, <laughs> I think I was running short on everything today now that I'm thinking about it. I was running short on that too. So I used a little bit of cream cheese, a little bit of Velveeta, and a little bit of American cheese is what I did. Okay, so then we're just going to stir this together. And again, I don't think I have got a <laughs> big enough pot to do this in. So let's push this over here. Go ahead and grab my slow cooker and we'll just mix it right in the thing. I was thinking I might want to photograph it in here, so I was trying to keep the sides clean. That's why I was trying to do it in this bowl. But like I said, not quite big enough. Move everything in here. There we go. Okay, a few more things we're gonna add. One is a can of cream of celery soup. We're also going to add just a couple of teaspoons of celery seed. <laughs> I can't remember if it was celery seed or celery salt. So a couple of teaspoons of that. That looks about good. A little bit of pepper. And, of course, a little bit of salt. Maybe a little extra salt just because it's potatoes. All right, so then I'm just going to mix this up really well. And you know what else I think I normally add to this is a little bit of evaporated milk. And the reason we do evaporated milk in like slow cooker recipes is because we don't want it to curdle. And I probably have some downstairs, but we're just going to toss in maybe a quarter cup to a half a cup of milk. Of regular milk and hope for the best. Man, I'm slinging it everywhere. <laughs> there we go. I just don't want this to be too dry. All right, so once we've got it all stirred together, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of paper towels between my corned beef hash and my lid, and that'll help my hash browns get just a little bit crispier in there, or a little bit browner, I should say. All right, so it's already set on low, so we're going to leave it on here for four to six hours. All right, our corned beef hash should be just about done. It's time to give it a try. Yeah, so much for keeping the sides of my pan clean here. It's super hot, <laughs> but it's super good. I'm so glad I made this because I haven't had that in a long time. That is so delicious. So I hope you'll give this a try, especially if you like corned beef hash, because it's a little bit different than what you're going to find in the restaurants. Because of the soup that we put in there and the celery seed, I was going to say salt, celery seed, it's got a really different flavor. It's got a lot of flavor to it, and it's a little bit creamier. So I hope you all enjoyed that. I thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.